Today we're going to talk about five mistakes to avoid when applying for a mortgage. Buying a home is an exciting milestone in life, but it's important to approach the process with care and diligence. Applying for a mortgage can be overwhelming, especially for a first time home buyer. To help you navigate this complex process, we put together a list of the five most common mistakes to avoid when applying for a mortgage. Your credit score plays a crucial impact in determining your eligibility for a mortgage and interest rate you're gonna receive. Before you start shopping for a home, it's a good idea to check your credit and address any issues that could impact your score. There are free sites that uh, are online that you can try or um, feel free to contact your lender and they can actually help maybe address some of the issues you have if you're concerned about that. Uh, don't settle for your first mortgage offer you receive. Shop around and compare rates with multiple lenders to ensure you're getting the best deal possible. You know, a lot of people will talk about about rates but they're not looking at their actual itemized fee sheet um, that's where it's going to break down any kind of points origination fees discount fees that different people are going to charge so there are definitely different um, variables that you want to consider when you're looking at estimates again if you have somebody that you can you know reference or talk to about it it's, it's definitely a good idea you know if, if you know anyone that's been through this process before a pre-approval letter from a lender can give you an edge when making an offer on a house. It shows the sellers you're serious about buying and have already been approved for a mortgage. You definitely want to do your due diligence. There's differences between a pre-qualification letter and a pre-approval letter. Pre-approval letter meaning you took it a step further. You've gotten your income and assets uh, reviewed by a lender. Uh, so, so it's a stronger type letter in case you're making offers. Yeah, you know, I definitely would say a seller is going to take a pre-approval letter. You know, if they've got two offers, one's pre-approval, one's pre-qualified, they're probably going to lean towards that pre-approval letter. Third, don't make the mistake of stretching your budget too thin when you're buying a house. Consider all your monthly expenses, including mortgage payments, insurance, and property taxes. Uh, that way you can ensure you're comfortably, you know, can afford that house. A lot of people, you know, uh, buy above their means and then, you know, they're, they're stuck in the house all the time. They're not going on vacations as much. They're not going out to eat as much. You know, those are things you want to consider when you're buying your first house or in general, any house. Once you have been approved for a mortgage, avoid making any major purchases or taking out any new lines of credit, you know, until after the closing. You also don't want to be changing jobs. Even if you stay in the same line of work, those are all things you want to make sure you're talking to your lender about uh, before you make those decisions. They can change your financial situation and can impact the mortgage approval and delay the closing process. By avoiding these common mistakes, you can streamline the mortgage process and move one step closer to home ownership. Keep these tips in mind as you navigate the home buying process and don't hesitate to reach out to a mortgage professional if you need guidance. If there's anything we can do, please let us know. Our contact information is below.